the damn dough! No! Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Maya, back again with another freaking YouTube video. I have my wash day routine using all Camille Rose's hair products. <laughs> my hair condition my hair I let the conditioner sit in my hair under a shower cap just for some minutes while I ate and you know watch some YouTube so now I'm going to go in with my next product after washing and conditioning the next step is going to be the Camille Rose a gave renew deep conditioning mask cocoa and mango butter and this is what it looks like this is going to be the next step that I go in with after washing and conditioning my hair. It says apply an ample amount to dry or wet hair. Leave on for 10 minutes then cool rinse while detangling with a wide tooth comb. So when I'm rinsing it, I need to be combing it out as well. For extra conditioning, down on a plastic cap and apply heat for a minimum of 20 minutes. Allow condition to melt away under cool water rinse. And this is what the consistency looks like. This is what it looks like. This is the consistency. It's really creamy and kind of lightweight. So I wash my hair like I said. I have it in this. I'm going to take my hair out and I'm going to section it in four just so all of the hair is nicely coated. So I'm just going to show you guys like the front just because you know you couldn't can't really see the back. So I'm just going to um, first coming out with my wide tooth comb. Start from the bottom of course and then I'm going to use this comb to um, just to make sure I'm really getting each hair, each piece, all that good stuff. Gonna coming out, I'm going to start with putting it at the bottom. Just because I'm going to do this. Because I want to make sure I get like my roots and stuff. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to get my edges and whatnot. And then I'm just going to rake it through with my fingers. Take my smaller Denman brush. Just because this is a small section. And just comb it just to make sure everything's just coated well kind of gonna wrap it around that mm. okay then I'm gonna take this side and do the same thing so I'm gonna take the clips out that I have in my head already I'm gonna let it all just fall down kind of put a little bit more just to be on the safest side make sure I get those ends for sure and yeah I'm just gonna do this with my fingers do this do this do this kind of undo it just so everything could get cooked and whatnot so this is it right here and now I'm just going to put the shower cap on I'm kind of I'm going to flip my hair over so that the ends are like on top. Okay. Make sure that's under. And now I'm going to sit underneath the um, hair dryer for 20 minutes. Maybe 30. I don't know. But 
I'm going to say that they need to dry now. And I'm going to hit you up when I'm done. I just rinsed out my hair from the leave-in conditioner. I'm holding it like this because it's literally drenching wet. I didn't squeeze any water out because the next product I'm going to go in with is the Honey Hydrate. The leave-in collection. And this is what it looks like. And this is the Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. I watched YouTube videos on it. And you have to have your hair like super wet because this is like hella thick. So, yes. So, I'm going to part my hair into four sections. And then I'm going to put, um, yeah, I'm just going to part my hair into four sections first. And then I'm going to go in with the product. So now I did the back with the leave-in that I uh, just showed you. I'm just going to show you the front since, you know, you can't see the back. But like I said, I'm going to start by coming out the bottom, working my way up to the top. I'm going to go under, behind, in front, just to make sure everything is combed out. I'm going to also take this brush oh, and comb out this. And then I'm going to add the honey, honey leave-in. Then I'm just going to start raking it through my hair. I'm going to make sure I also put, you know, some at the roots and stuff. Also just making sure that I get my ends because that's the most needed. I'm going to do this, go through again, and just make sure everything is coated nicely. And then I'm just going to comb it out so that all that product could be distributed evenly. My ends are nice and good. I'm going to use a hair tie to just kind of hold all of this together and then now I'm going to do this side. So that's done. I'm going to work on the rest of my hair. I'm going to work on the back first using all of the products I'm going to use and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the front since that's what you could see anyways. Okay so I did the back. I'm going to show you really quickly what it looks like. Uh, Amazing. Okay so this is what the hair looks like. Okay, cool. But yes, that's the back. Now I'm going to do the front. I'm going to show you everything that I use in the back in order. I'm going to start into the next product we're going to use. And it's called the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk with Rice Milk and Macadamia Oil. And this is what she looks like. This is her. Put some in my hands. This is the consistency. Just um, a cream base consistency and we're going to rub it through my hair. I'm just going to add some more so we can get the ends and like this and all of that. I'm just going to rake my fingers through and that's about it for that product that I'm going to use. The next product I'm going to use is called the Camille Rose Fresh Curl revitalizing hair smoothie avocado and castor oil and this is it and this is your styling cream that you will use and it is green i'm gonna put a full pump and this is what it looks like and this is the consistency really oh as you can see it's really creamy like and really i would say kind of liquidy kind of sort of kind of sort of and this is what it looks like so far with all of the products honey the moisture milk and the styling cream this is what it looks like so far and the next product i'm gonna go in with is the camille rose aloe whipped butter gel aloe vera and macadamia oil and this is what it looks like and this is the consistency of it really thick not too much of course creamy but 
it's um more thick as well and i'm not gonna put a lot just because it's so hydrated already like it's really moisturized it's super freaking soft like super super my hair feels like butter i'm not even lying <laughs> the next product i'm gonna use and this is more like a gel so well i'm gonna use it more as a gel because of the consistency that it is it's called the camille rose curl maker marshmallow and agave leaf extract and this is what it looks like this is what it looks like and then i'm gonna put a full pump in my hand and as you can see this is why i said like gel because it's like this and yeah this one's kind of sort of liquidy as well i guess you can say but yeah i'm just making sure i get everything coated i'm gonna comb it through again and now i'm gonna actually start to part it and twist it i'm gonna show you how i do that so i'm just going to split this into two sections so i'm gonna have this stuff right here in my hand comb it through the front and the back i'm gonna get a smaller comb just so that i can um be more neater and precise i'm going to split all of this into three sections make more of this agave um curl maker just because it's more like jelly and kind of hydrate the roots so that it's like so that it's more um slick and smooth i'm gonna take my hard brush and brush it like that i'm gonna take me a rubber band you could twist it um the rubber band as many times as you feel like you need to i'm gonna take it split it into two to um tighten it and then i'm just gonna do this and take my brush one more time and just rake through it because it could get kind of tangled and caught up and I'm just going to keep twisting it all the way down. I'm going to brush. I'm going to twist it and twist it and twist it. Keep brushing it a little just so it won't be tangled. And then I twist it all the way to the bottom. And then I'll just kind of do this to get the form going. And then I'll drop it. And this is what it looks like with all of the products on it. going to use the curl maker as my um gel this is my second time using their product i've used it before but obviously i didn't you know like film it or whatever but i'm not gonna lie their brand is probably going to be like the best curly hair products that i've used i don't know i really feel like it's the luxury type ingredients that they use that really that i feel as though does really well with my hair all of the um all of the products smells amazing like they all smell like cake in my opinion <laughs> like they really do smell like cake it smells so damn good all right and so and like i really honestly don't need any like gel like i could continue to do my hair and not even need gel because all of the products are extremely hydrating like seriously i really feel what makes the hair is the um that honey leave-in because oh my gosh like talk about like I'm telling you, my hair feels like butter. Like, it's so slick and smooth and slippery because of all of the products and, with, and like, the ingredients they contain and just how well they take to my hair. Just amazing, honestly. I'm 
going to come go in with the um, butter gel. Because I'm assuming, you know, it says butter gel. Like, it's gel, but it's just buttery. And you, like, this stuff is just insane. Like, seriously, it's so... I'm not going to even twist this because it's, like, kind of really thin. So, I'm just going to keep turning it like this to create the shape that I want. I'm not going to lie. I love their, their products. Literally, all of them that I'm using today... I would literally recommend them. Everybody's hair takes differently to different products. So what works for me might not work for you. But it doesn't hurt to try. And these products are not, in my opinion, they are not cheap. But you're paying for quality gourmet, higher quality um, ingredients for sure. You can tell, like, I could tell within the consistency, the smell, how it looks. Like, these products are fire. I wish I had more to try more, but that's okay for right now. I'm definitely satisfied with this. I would say my favorite product is the Honey Leave-In. That's literally my favorite. It, I think it really does, it works phenomenal with my hair. But that's my opinion. I just realized, you know, and noticing how well my hair takes to it. Which is why I like it. So now I'm just going to do the other side of my hair. Um, once again using all of the products Okay, I did the rest off camera and then I'm just gonna do the last one with you guys It's the last one This is the finished product. And that's it. I'm gonna kinda show you just a little. This is what the hair is looking like. It looks amazing. It looks super hydrated and healthy. This is what it's looking like. Super pretty, super pretty. Kind of gonna show you a little bit around. Just so you see everything. I look so oily because with all the products i'm going to quickly just run through and show you all of the products that i use so i use the sweet ginger cleansing rinse cashier and aniseed oil moroccan pear conditioning custard moroccan pear and cherry kernel oil this moroccan pear smells literally like pears it smells freaking amazing the next product i use after that is the um deep conditioner Okay, renew and that's this one and then at the deep conditioner i use a leave-in and this is the honey hydrate this is the number one product out of all of them this is my favorite the next product i use after the honey is a curl love moisture milk and that's this one the next product i use after that is the fresh curl revitalizing hair smoothie and that's this one and then the next one I used was the aloe with butter gel, aloe vera, and macadamia oil. That's this one. And then the very last product I used today by Camille Rose is the Curl Maker. And I also love this one as well. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video featuring my wash curly wash day routine using all Camille Rose hair products. Stay blessed, stay humble. No matter what you're going through in life, you will get through, I promise. Thank you everyone for watching and much love to you. I'm super grateful and I couldn't be more happier. Thank you guys and until next time. 
I'll see you later.